All right, now we're gonna cover the last two movement tests. The first one is the supine long sitting test. And again, these are really to look at differences in your SI joint. So when we talk about having anterior posterior rotations, you're gonna see differences. And you might actually even see them with up slips and down slips as well. So the first thing that you're gonna have them do is be laying in supine and then ask them to clear their hips because remember we need to make sure that they're even as they do these tests. They're really relaxed and then you pull them straight and what you're going to do then is look at their heels and Brooks are even, which is exciting. So probably we could stop the test now, but if she was uneven, so if she had one side that was longer or shorter, then what we would do is come behind and say, okay, here we come and we're, I'm gonna help her sit up so it's partially active and then I look at them again if she had one side that was longer, but now it's even, then that side is anteriorly rotated. If she had one side that was shorter and now it's even, that side was posteriorly rotated. But remember what I've said before in videos, you actually have to do some other investigations because sometimes we think it's an anterior rotation and really it's a posterior rotation and vice versa. You don't know which one's shorter or longer when you do this because they're just uneven to begin with, right? So you're gonna to have to do some more investigations to figure out what's going on. The next test, go ahead and roll over, is going to be the prone knee bend test, also known as a Deerfield test. And I'm gonna have you come just a little bit more down. You want them to have their feet hanging off the end of the table. And again, you're going to be looking at leg lengths. And again, she's nice and even. And then you just ask them to relax and you're gonna bring them up and then look at their heel height again and they should be nice and even. And if they're not, well, that's probably an anatomical leg length issue. But what you would see is if there's a difference, one would be longer or shorter here. And then as you flex their heels, they would line back up again. And that's because the difference is coming from their hips, right? So we're talking about SI joint problems and, and pelvic rotations and not a true leg length discrepancy coming from their lower legs. Thanks.